Sleepyhead, we're gonna be so late for the interview! Hmm. Wait! That was today? Yeah, fashion designer Marco Beretti is in town to debut his hot new fashion line. We have an interview with him for the Bratz Magazine digital feature, remember? We have to be there in 60, and you're still catching Z's? Could you round up the girls and make sure they're ready? Wait a sec. You're still giving me major sleepy vibes. Try stretching your legs a little first. Let's move around the room. <laughs> Slamming! Now, see how the phone on the table is lit up? That means you can interact with it. Why don't you try getting close to it, then grab it? here somewhere. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Yasmin? Is it the Tweevils? Ghosts? Aliens? Ghost aliens? <sighs> Chill, Chloe. It's just my denim jacket. I can't find it, and I want to wear it to the interview with Baretti. Oh! <laughs> but you look scorching already. Thanks. But that jacket was going to complete my look. Can you help me find it? I think I left it in the hall. Can you help me find it? I think I left it in the hall. My jacket! Oh, Angel. You're an angel. This'll totally make the look. We should take a photo. Let's start by getting the camera out. It doesn't work with these shoes at all. Bye bye denim jacket. Your cuteness is not needed today. You know what though? It'll look rocking on you. Why don't you try it on? Come on, let's hit the wardrobe.
Hey, Chloe, what's the 411? Hold up, we're heading out already? Yeah, Sasha, the interview is in an hour. An hour? It's just, I was hoping to redo my makeup before we left, but I can't find my makeup kit anywhere. No stress, Bunny Boo. We can always find time to help a bestie in need. I'll find it for you. Girl, you're a lifesaver. I think it was in the main room someplace. You found it! I swear, that's the last time there's more than five feet between me and my lip gloss. Ooh, I just got a great idea. Let's give you a little makeover before we leave. Let's move, people. Head to the vanity. Okay, ladies, we ready to do this thing? Fashion interview, here we come. Come on, Bratz Pack, time to hit them all. Wait, uh, how? I forgot how to get there. What if we get lost and wind up in the wilderness? Then it'll rain and my hair will be ruined. And then we'll have to dress like a lumberjack and live in the woods forever. And I... Oh. Whoa, Angel. Reality check. We'll use the map application on our phones. It's easy. Here, I'll show you. I'm fashion reporter. You ready for the interview? Uh, I'm actually kind of nervous. Can we go over the questions again? Sure. What are friends for? So, according to my notes, Marco Beretti is from Milan, Italy. He's been a fashion designer for 20 years. And his hot new clothing line is inspired by Italian rock bands. Italian rock bands? This guy's my vibe. We should ask him about that. Totally. That's a great clue. Sometimes we'll find clues we can use during our interviews. If we find all of them, it'll for sure make our interview better. I've added takes inspiration from Italian rock bands to the list of clues for the interview. Thanks for the pep talk, guys. Mwah.
Can I help you? Hi, Mr. Baretti. Yasmin here, reporting for Bratz Magazine. We're here for the interview we discussed. The interview? Ah, ah yes. A about my new clothing line, see? That's right. You ready? Not at all. It's a disaster. My little Paula has disappeared. <gasps> oh my gosh! Your daughter's gone missing? My daughter? No, no, my, my, my puppy. My beautiful, darling puppy. She ran off while I was distracted by a, a simply perfect pair of jeans. A curse my impossibly brilliant eye for fashion. Don't worry, Mr. Beretti. No one knows Stylesville like we do. We'll help you find her. Oh, grazie, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Don't mention it. Now, where were we? <gasps> the interview! Now is the perfect time to dive in. See? Okay, Mr. Beretti, interview time. Let's talk fashion. My favorite subject. What inspired you to become a fashion designer? Fashion is my way of sharing beauty and passion with the world. What's this season's hottest accessory? Chunky chain necklaces, of course. One last thing. Is it true that your newest line is inspired by Italian rock bands? Why, yes. You're well informed, I see. Leather, safety pins, fishnets. All inspired by my meetings with Italian rock legends. And that's it, Mr. Beretti. All done. Before you go, let's finish up with a selfie. Did someone say photo shoot?
guys, we did it! That interview was slamming! Right? Time to get this style and scoop live on the Bratz Magazine site! You said it, Cool Cat! Come on, ladies! Let's head to the apartment and publish the story on the computer! to buy tickets for the talent show? A talent show? Here in Stylesville? Huh, first I've heard about it. Figures, I hired some reporters to promote the event, but they never showed up. No sweat, we're all about spreading the word on hot happenings in Stylesville. You're talking to the music editor of Bratz Magazine. Bratz Magazine, huh? Can't say I've heard of it. Tell you what, if you can get 10,000 subscribers, I'll set you up with front row seats for an exclusive scoop on the show. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. You okay, Raya? Oh, hey, Yaz. I guess I'm kind of nervous. Today's the grand opening of my new beauty salon, and I'm majorly freaked. What if no one comes? Oh, Sunrays, sure they will. This place is scorching. No way it's gonna fail. Oh, you girls are the best. If there's anything we can do to help, you know all you have to do is ask. Besties help besties. Now that you mention it, I could use some help getting the word out about the salon. Sure. I'm thinking we go old school. How about we take some pictures of the place and print out some flyers at the tech store? I bet that would get some cool customers in the door. Analog alert. I love it. It's settled. 
Let's start by taking a pic of the inside of the shop. some flyers. Can you please print this for us?
This is amazing. Look how many people showed up. Nailed it. Thanks, girls. Remember, if you ever want to try out a new style, come talk to me, okay? Excuse me, girls, but are you the Bratz Pack? We sure are! Oh, wonderful! I'm a designer looking to capture the beauty of nature in my work. I hope to take the spirit of the outdoors and bring it to the forefront of fashion. So, you must be here at the park to get some inspiration then. Precisely. 
The park is home to the most majestic of creatures, the squirrel. But, well, they seem to be camera shy for us today. None of my design team can get them to stand still for a photo. Say, do you think you could take some pictures and help us capture the beauty of these adorable little things? You got it! Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Squirrel picks you asked for. I swear those little guys just knew how to rock a pose. Wow, you girls have a real eye for wildlife photography. You know, this would make for a pretty great story. The beauty of nature, fashion in the trees. Do you think we could interview you for Bratz Magazine? Oh my, yes, please. So, what is it about nature that captures your imagination when designing? The great outdoors demands respect. It can be both strong, yet delicate. And you have a penchant for squirrels in your next designs? <laughs> well, I don't want to give too much away. But yes, these creatures of the forest, well, park, are a perfect example of what makes nature so beautiful. Are there lots of scurries of squirrels in this park? Ah, you have been talking to my design team. They are excellent researchers. Yes, there are several scurries here, each unique and inspiring. And that's a wrap on our animal aficionado. Now a quick pick for the magazine. Well, if it isn't Bunny Boo herself. Fiona, what are you up to, girl? Soaking in some Stylesville sun? Because today is hot. You got me. I'm also running some rad yoga sessions in the park. Some of my students are over there now doing some crazy yoga contests. 
You girls should join in! I'll even throw in a prize for the winner. Hey, Fiona mentioned you were running some kind of yoga contest? You heard right. Yoga's pretty chill normally. But today, we're spicing things up with a little competition. We're beyond in! The rules are simple. Whoever can hold a pose the longest wins. Okay, Chloe, you got this. Ready and pose! The new yoga champs of Stylesville Park. Translation, we won! Nice moves. Looks like you earned yourselves a prize. If you ever want free yoga sessions, I'm your gal. Just drop by the park and talk to me. Fiona, you're the best. Hey, quick, let's grab a victory photo.
Oh no. This is the worst luck since we put on the Scottish play. Hey, Brett's back here, back and ready to cover the talent show. Uh, are you okay? Ugh, it's hopeless. If things don't start looking up soon, there won't be a show to cover. Oh no, what's the sitch? It's 10 minutes till curtain up and we're nowhere near finished with all the preparations. We'd need a miracle to get everything ready in time. What do you say, ladies? Sounds like a mission for our fierce fashion foursome. Really? But there's so much to do. We need to hang some posters around the entrance, take pictures of the contestants for social media, and give the marquee a brand new look for opening night. Is that it? Come on, guys! We've got a show to save! streetwear outfits. The dancers here got me mad inspired. Want to do some modeling with me? Come back in streetwear clothes and blue makeup and the same style as mine.
And just in time for the opening number. Who says you've got to be late to be fashionable? Pretty and punctual. I don't know how you did it, but it looks like the show's ready to start. Brava, girls, brava. No biggie. I was head of the prom committee. I got some mean event prepping skills. Quick, quick, take your seats. It's showtime. a disaster! A catastrophe! Oh no! Not this again! What's wrong now? It's curtains for the entire production! The talent show is cancelled! What? What happened? Did someone say good luck to a performer? It's bad luck to say that in a theater, right? Oh my gosh! I just said it! After all our hard work, we'll have to send the audience home. Wait! How come? The dance crew that was supposed to appear at nine can't make it. One of them overslept and missed their plane. Dang, that bites. Can't you just go on without them? Our tickets promised four performances minimum. Alas, the drama, the disappointment. Okay, crazy idea. How about we do it? What do you mean, cool cat? Remember that dance routine Sasha worked on after Camp Starshine? Think we could bust out some of those moves? Well, duh! You gotta ask. Of course! Then it's a no-brainer! We'll replace the missing dance crew! That's excellent news! Speak to Fiona backstage when you're ready to start. So, you're the new dance crew, huh? You girls have got guts stepping in last minute. Talent show? Spotlights? How could we resist? Plus, Sasha's choreo is pure fire. The competition's pretty hot this year, but you know I'm rooting for you! Whenever you're ready, step through the stage door!
amazing, spectacular. That was one scorching performance. Elegant, edgy, exciting. Brett, there's no doubt in my mind, you won the talent show. The prize is yours. Rockin'. Wait, did you just say prize? There's a prize? Oh, didn't I say? First prize is tickets to the Extreme Games in Barcelona for the whole team. No way! You've got to be kidding! The Extreme Games? That'd be the perfect place to get sporty scoops for the magazine. Plus, hola sunshine! Okay, girls, let's get this article published. Then, next stop, Barcelona! Welcome to the Extreme Games! This year is going to be our best yet! Extreme sports, extreme drama, extreme coolness. Testing the world's greatest athletes to the extreme. You're reporters, right? Right! Well... I've got a surprise event for you that you'll definitely want to cover. The Extreme Games are all about excellence, the best of the best. So, we've cooked up a special challenge. Any magazine who wants full access has got to reach 100,000 subscribers. Think you're up for it? Sure, we got this. That's the spirit. Catch you on the flip side. Vin Zavia! I mean, have you seen this apartment? 
Right! Extreme game surely got us an extreme apartment. Speaking of extreme, I want to get an extreme tan as well. Let's hit the beach for a little R&R. &R. Beach? Oh, fashion emergency. I totally forgot to pack a swimsuit. Well, we could go get a new one. I mean, Bunny Boo can't kick it beachside in her town clothes, right? Oh, yes. As if we need an excuse to go shopping. Girls, it's mall time. Dylan, is Eden avoiding me? He's totally giving me the cold shoulder. I don't know, but it's not just you. He's been hiding from everyone on the balcony, like all day. Weird. Come on, let's check it out. Uh, don't come out here. I look ridiculous. My gosh, Eaton! How sunburned are you? I hit the beach earlier and kind of forgot to wear sunscreen. That's super dangerous, Eaton! Sunscreen! Barcelona! Kinda not optional. Yeah, I guess I learned that the hard way. Dude, you look like a tomato! Dylan! Jeez! We have to be able to do something to help! Girls, we've got to help Eaton out. He looks redder than our Rock Angels cruiser. Ideas, anyone? I thought I packed some aloe gel, but I don't know where I left it. That'll work. It's got to be here somewhere. Not here. Let's try somewhere else. Uh, zilch. No lotion here. Found it! On my way, Eaton! Hey, got you a little something for your sunburn. Man! Thanks. <sighs> you know, that does feel a lot better. Please don't do that again. Sunburn is no joke. But now that we've all seen you, you might as well stop hiding. We're not gonna judge, silly. But... I look like a lobster. Yeah, but a cute one. Scorchin style isn't about looking perfect. It's about self-confidence. Here, let's take a photo. Who cares if you're a little red?
Up. You, it's one of the extreme games fringe events happening all over the city. Sure, we're down. We used to skate circles around Stylesville. Rad stuff. If this is the first time you're doing the Barcelona track, you better get familiar with the circuit first. You gotta know the bends like a fro, right? Here are the different locations you should know about. If you could take a picture and bring them back so I could check them out, I'd be so grateful. No prob.
with the track now. Totally know all its secrets. Nice. Guess that means it's showtime. Skate some. Let's roll. Get so fast. Once you got running and hills down, skates are easy. True. Come on. How about we take a picture? Go for it. Do you sell swimsuits here? Customers, finally! No one's been in all day. Wait, no one's been in but us? Well, that can't be right. These clothes are totally slamming. I don't know. I guess maybe my designs aren't for everyone. No way! Like Angel said, this place is a fashion treasure trove. Maybe the store just needs a little promo. You really think so? Hmm. I know. I should go spread the word around the beach. That would get some customers. But I can't leave the store right now. Maybe you ladies could help me out. I'll throw in that swimsuit you were looking for. What do you say? Wanna spread a little passion for fashion? Duh!
Girls, I don't know what to say. This place is buzzing. Thank you so much. Hey, don't give us all the credit. Your hot designs did all the heavy lifting. <sighs> Thanks. One swimsuit coming right up. Here you go. Hope you like it. Ready for the water fight? Ready for the what now? There's a water fight going down? Of course! It's one of the Extreme Games Fringe events! Count us in! You're looking at Styles High's Resident Queens of H2O! Hmm. Well, you're gonna need a water gun to compete. You should ask around. Maybe one of the other contestants has a spare water gun you can borrow. need of a super soak and assist. Sorry, I've only got one. water guns? I just lent my last one to someone else. Sorry. Could our team borrow a water gun? <laughs> of course. Here you go. Don't forget to fill it up at the water fountain before the event starts.
I see you found the water gun. Looks like you're in for a shot after all. Then let the extreme water fight begin. An insane water fight. Talk about staying hydrated. Angel, your aim was off the hook. We should totally take a selfie. The wet hair look is in after all. Coming. Hey, we got those hundred thousand subscribers you asked for. Nice work. Guess that means you're ready for your first extreme game scoop.
Today, competitors go head-to-head -head in several contests. How about you start by interviewing the Wings, Blaze, and Tiburon teams? They're the big thing in extreme sports right now. Coolness! We should snap some photos, too. Knock yourselves out. here, reporting for Bratz Magazine. Mind if we get an interview? Sure. Hit me. So, what drew you to extreme sports? The adrenaline. 100%. I'm all about the thrill. What's the most important skill for an athlete? I gotta say, teamwork. Team Wings is one big crazy family. Keeps things interesting. Here for it. Go Wings! Got a sec for an interview? Sure, whatever. What made you want to compete in the extreme games? Winning! This is a loser-free zone. Being a pro athlete can be tough. What does it take to be the best? Be a part of Team Blaze. The rest are just posers. Uh-huh. Well, you sure are confident. Thanks for the realness, I guess. <laughs> interview I gotta get the tiburon hot take sure what made you want to try extreme sports A close friend of mine introduced me to it. I gave it one try and I was hooked. Do you think it's okay to try and take any shortcuts in a competition to get ahead? Never. Cheating's the worst. Totally not cool. And that's it. Thanks. 
We totally did it, guys. Three teams interviewed for the Mag Slammin' Sports Special, and we didn't even break a sweat. Up next, photos. Hey, looking sizzling as always. You know it. I'm working on my fashion world tour photo project. I'm here at the Extreme Games to photograph some style and sportswear. Want to do some modeling with me? Come back in sporty clothes and green makeup and the same style as mine. Dang, girl! This 
look is everything. Woo! Get ready for your close-up. Thanks for the fabulosity. Later. Three rockin' interviews, done and dusted. Great work! Don't forget to come back here once you publish them. We still got loads of cool events coming up. I think someone's been messing with my skateboard. My wheels came loose during my last run, and I almost crashed into the audience. You cool? How many fingers am I holding up? I'm fine. My board's seriously dinged up, though. I can't believe it. Someone tried to sabotage me just to take me out of the competition. Don't worry. No way we're letting some sneaky saboteur ruin the contest. We'll figure out who did this. Really? Thanks. Hey, if it helps, I was hanging out in the stands earlier, and I wasn't paying much attention to my board. Ooh, maybe that's when the saboteur saw their opportunity to take it and booby-trap the wheels? 
Great thinking, cool cat. We'll start by asking around in the stands. Someone take a skateboard from around here. Skateboard? No, nothing like that. Now that you mention it, I did see a guy take a skateboard to the press area and come back later to drop it off. He seemed kind of shifty if you ask me. I think he was wearing some Team Blaze gear. Team Blaze, huh? Thanks. Ladies, let's hit the press area. This mystery ain't over yet. to the culprit. They must have dropped it when they were tinkering with the wheels. Wow, Yaz. Have you been writing a mystery story lately? Because your detective skills are mad impressive. Uh, guys, the phone just got a text. Let me see. <gasps> Looks like they're headed to the airport. This is our chance. If we head to the airport now, I'm sure we'll find our saboteur there. Let's move. Where'd I put my cell phone? It's not in my pocket. Hey, is this your phone? Uh, yeah. Where did you find it? Oh, nowhere. Just at the Extreme Games venue, where you sabotaged a competitor's skateboard. How could you know that? I thought no one saw me.
sorry to be the bringers of seriously lame news, but turns out Team Blaze tried to sabotage the competition. They admitted everything. What? Then I guess I have no other choice. Team Blaze must be disqualified from the Extreme Games. Although that does leave us one team short. Unless... What if you guys join the competition? You definitely got the teamwork part down. You mean us? Like us us? That would be awesome! Perfect! You should chat with the track organizer. He'll help you find all the gear you'll need. Hey, you're the new contestants, right? Team Bratz? You should head to the prep area to get your competition gear. Come talk to me whenever you're ready. You bet! Introducing Team Bratz! Scorchin', stylin', and ready to slay! <laughs> nice! Head out onto the track and show us what you got! Friends, we won! I know, right? Everybody, huddle up! This would make the greatest shot for the magazine!
give me a sec. My phone's blowing up. Uh, guys, I think Mr. Beretti's calling me. You know, the Beretti. No way! Quick, put him on speaker. Ciao, girls. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, mio amico. I'm calling with an idea. Since the first time I met you all, I could see into your hearts. And there I saw passion. I'm organizing a fashion show in Seoul with designers from all over the world. And I want you to participate with your own designs. Wait up. Us and Seoul with our own designs? That's right! What do you say? That's Bunny Boo for we totally love to! Whoa! This is major! Looks like we're headed to Seoul! I've emailed you the travel arrangements! Why don't you head over to the airport and hop on the first flight over? Thanks, Mr. Baretti! We won't let you down! See you in Seoul! Is this... Real? You made it! Welcome to Seoul! Mr. Beretti! Hey! No time for chit chat, I'm afraid. Catwalk preparations are calling! But here, take the keys to your apartment. Once you're settled, come find me at the Art Expo. We have much to discuss before the fashion show. You got it, Mr. Beretti! See you there! Oh, and one more thing. Our event sponsors are very demanding. For the event to be a success, all the designers have to be oh so popular. So, it would be great if your magazine could get, shall we say, 200,000 subscribers by then? 200,000? Those are some serious numbers! <laughs> Knowing you girls, I'm sure you'll manage! Got to run, ciao! Hello? See, si, Varetti here. No, I said green coat! Green! Ciao! This place is awesome! Huh? 
please. Awesome doesn't even cover it. It's amazing. Man, I can't wait to check out the street fashion here. Or just feel the vibes of the city. Yeah, yeah, but first... Let's unpack. What? No, are you crazy? Let's go shopping. Angel, yes. Already? <laughs> we just got here. I'm gonna chill here. It was a long flight. Suit yourself. Let's hit it, girlfriends. Shopping!
Excuse me? Can you tell us what's going on here? What's the... Uh, out of my way. Uh, uncalled for much? We just wanted to know what's going on. If you must know, we got a tip that a famous actor is in there. Really? Who? I don't know. Who cares? What matters is, he's famous. And we're gonna get a surprise snap of him as soon as he comes out. Wait, don't you think someone should give him the heads up that there's a whole fleet of photographers outside? Um, no. Guys, we gotta get in there and warn him that... <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. But... Shh, I can't get distracted. I was so rude. I don't like it. They've got this whole paparazzi ambush plan, and they don't even know who the actor is. Wait a minute. That's it. They don't know who the actor is. Well, yeah, that's what Mr. Rude said. I have an idea. Let's go find Dylan. Hey, Dillman fans, Dylan here, ready to rock the world with his killer dance move, dance break, uh, 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 flip, yeah, and the crowd goes wild, woohoo! Uh, Dylan, you done performing to your imaginary audience, or should we come back later? You did not just see that. Something's up at the fashion store. Could you help us out? You want my help? Why? Ooh, we kind of need someone to pretend to be a famous actor to distract the paparazzi. And you're perfect for the job. They're gonna know I'm not him. Don't worry about that. I have just the thing. Who? Tom Denmark? The famous actor? They're saying he's gonna bust into the music scene big time this year. We should warn him about the paparazzi crew outside. Shades or no shades, Dylan won't be able to keep them distracted forever. I excuse me, Mr. Tom Denmark? Yes? Thought you should know there's a bunch of paparazzi in the street. They're following our friend around right now, but they're bound to be back. Thanks for the heads up. You guys here for some retail therapy? Us? Oh, oh yeah, I, we're shopping for, um, uh, clothes? Sorry, I run a music column for our magazine, and I guess I'm a little starstruck. We'll leave you alone now. A magazine, huh? You know, you girls have great style. If you want to ask anything for your magazine, I'd be happy to give an interview. So, how did your career start? I got discovered by my agent in acting school. 
Do you prefer acting in movies or on TV? Hmm. Neither. I prefer theatre. And finally, is it true that... You plan on starting a music career? You heard about that. Well, yeah, it's true. I'm dropping my debut album next month. Thanks for chatting to Bratz Mag. Is it okay if we take a picture? Sure, no problem. Okay, whenever you're ready. Three, two, one.
looks like I've got a message. Wait, me too. And me. Let's see what it says. If my newest creation you wish to pursue, look for clues in the places you go through. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Are we sure this isn't another prank? It's no prank. I recognize that symbol. It's the symbol of the secret designer. Oh my gosh, the secret designer. Wait, what's a secret designer? The secret designer. He's only like Cool Cat's hero. She even wrote a paper on him once, remember? He's a top secret anonymous designer making the world's hottest outfits and no one knows his true identity. Awesome, and it sounds like he's inviting us to look for his newest design. Keep your eyes peeled for clues, people. again. How is Sol treating you? Like VIPs, this place is styling. Excellent. Now, to business. You're going to design outfits for my fashion show, see? Of course. Perfecto. Then I have a suggestion. Look around. Talk to the artists. Let the local art inspire your work. Speaking with bold, brilliant creators, there is no better fashion fuel. Great idea. Go, explore the expo. Feast your eyes on the fashion. about your piece? Certainly. I call this Stack of Spheres. What's it about? About? Spheres. Stacked. Okay. But what does it mean? Whatever you see, Annette. That's 
the beauty of art. It can mean something different to everyone. It's not important what I think. What does this piece say to you? To me? Hmm. All the spheres are perfectly balanced to support each other. They reach higher because they're working together, just like us. Sure. Could you talk to us about your art? Of course. What would you like to know? I'm sensing a lot of spacey vibes with this piece. The moon, the planets. Does it have special meaning for you? This installation's my love letter to the stars. It depicts the night sky. All that empty space. It reminds us how very small we are in this big, big universe. Well, I'm definitely feeling it. I feel like a teeny tiny stud on Jade's fave black faux leather boots. Thanks for the perspective. Nice to meet you. What can you tell us about your art? I'm guessing you're not afraid of bright colors. No way. Color is my whole vibe. Bright, bold, in your face stuff. That's a hundred percent me. I love it! Of course you do. I loved making it. And when you create from the heart, it'll always be a masterpiece. Everything I had into these designs. We've got rockin' new ideas, the cutest accessories, and off the hook creativity. These outfits are gonna look hot on the red carpet. Fashion show, here we come! Here for the fashion show? Yep, so better watch out because I am dressed to impress. Speaking of which, let me grab my new faux fur purse. You guys are gonna freak out how cute and fuzzy it is. 
Here for it. Let me see. <gasps> My purse. It's gone. It was here like a minute ago, I swear. Oh, no. Someone stole your purse? They must have swiped it right as you guys were walking over. Uh-uh. No way someone steals from Roxy and gets away with it. Let's investigate. All right, guys. Let's pull what we know. Good idea. Now that you mention it, I did hear like a bell. It was about a minute before you guys showed up. On the chair, right there. here but look it's the dog she must have grabbed the purse ma vera you took someone's purse drop it i guess it kind of looks like her fluffy dog toy from home sorry for the mix-up i'll make sure to get the purse back to your friend as uh, soon as i deslobbered it you know slobber or no slobber Vera clearly knows a sweet airport look when she sees one. Isn't that right, little fashionista? How about a picture, Vera?
Okay, this is it. The outfit should be here. Uh, Angel, this place is empty. Wait, what's that? There it is! A scorching secret designer ensemble, hidden in plain sight! It's gorgeous! Guys, let's head back to the apartment stat! I've got a serious case of try it on -itis.
Alicia, I can't believe it. You're here. Uh, no way I'd miss your show. Plus, I'm working on my fashion world tour photo project. Today, I'm all about catwalk fashion. Want to do some modeling with me? Come back in fashionable clothes and red makeup in the same style as mine. Looking this gorgeous! You owned it, Boo! One sizzling photo coming up! Big thanks for your help! You're a total rock star! Girls, you're here. You like the look of the runway, see? So many design meetings to get it just so. More like love it. This place is happening. Now, before the show begins, I want to share a rumor I've heard with you. Ooh, spill, Mr. Beretti. Word is, the secret designer is here tonight! The secret designer! Ah yes, he is a fashion legend. Perhaps you've heard of him? Actually, we kind of have a history with secret designer. We followed some clues he left and found a super style and outfit he designed. He rarely goes to public events, but something made him change his mind tonight. I wonder what. No importa. If you want to find him, listen carefully. He'll be in disguise, so look for him among the servers and the staff. Rumors have it, 
He never goes anywhere without his favorite pair of red suede shoes. Good luck. We'll speak again when the show begins. Yes, can I offer you something to drink? Offer you a drink? Ooh, you're good. But we see right through you. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You can drop the act. We know you're the secret designer. Impressive. What gave me away? Your red suede shoes. You don't leave the house without them. Clever. Well, you found me. I suppose that earns you a secret designer inside school. You do want to know my design secrets, right? An interview? Of course! Keep it together, Chloe. Play it cool. How do you come up with such groundbreaking designs? I had a good teacher and a true passion for fashion. Love that! How come you use a secret identity? Mystery is exciting, isn't it? Why did you decide to come tonight? I heard a certain group of dazzling new designers would be here. The truth is, I came to see you. Good luck out there. I look forward to seeing your designs. It's time! Get ready, designers! The show is about to... What's this? The power is out! Uh, I can't see my hand in front of my face! How are the models supposed to walk a runway like this? I know they say black goes with everything, but this is taking it a little far. Mr. Beretti, any ideas? I, uh, uh, sorry, girls, if you'll just excuse me, uh, what have you done this time, old friend? We got this. Angel, hand me that flashlight. Let's find the fuse box and get these lights back on. restored the power that's right designers reporters electricians we're total triple threats well now that the lights are back i guess we should start the show you'd better head backstage and get ready we were born ready let's do it
That was amazing! Uh, I think they liked it? No, 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 girls. No one liked it. They loved it. Congratulations. Aw, thanks, Mr. Beretti. We couldn't have done it without you. Nonsense. The talent is all yours. <sighs> Come here, guys. I'm calling a group hug. We totally rocked this thing. to say I'm impressed I knew you were good but that was something else sorry about the surprise <clears throat> power outage before the show I needed to create a distraction while I spoke privately with my old tutor Beretti he agreed with me entirely I think you've earned this don't open it until you're back at your apartment see you around Builder. No way. What is it? These are four invitations to the style and soiree. What? Let me see. Shine bright, fashion queens. Get ready to sparkle and shimmer at this year's blingiest bash, the New York Style and Soiree. You've got to be messing. The Silent Soiree? That's the most insanely exclusive fashion event of the year! Uh, understatement? Grab your cutest sneakers, girls, because we've got to run to the airport! The brats are flying to New York!
of the model and magic.
And welcome to the Stylin' Soiree. Tonight, we make history. Bring your passion and your best fashion. Enjoy a magical midnight mixer for the world's most stylin' stars. This is so exciting. No joke, I've been photographed like a gazillion times already. Yeah, thanks again for the tick, Secret Designer. This party is wild. Hey. You okay? You seem a little stressed. Me? Stressed? No, no, no. Uh, how did you know? Truthfully, prep for the soiree has been a nightmare. Guests are arriving and nothing's quite finished. God, a perfect night ruined before it can even begin. Hold up. We've still got time. Whatever you need, we're on it. I second that. How can we help? I invited a DJ to play before the main show, but they're stuck in traffic. What we really need is some music. Music? That's like Bunny Boo's whole deal. She's always got pop-up playlists on her phone. Sasha, you can hook us up with some slamming tunes, right? Way ahead of you, girl. What vibe are we going for? Pop? Perfect! This event is about to get bumpin'! Plink! Oh, a text! Hmm, sounds like things aren't going too well over on the stage. Down low, we heard you guys need some help. You got that right. I've been trying to set up the stage lighting for like an hour, but I just can't choose. What color do you like best? Great thinking. Give me a sec.
fancy and funky. I like it. You know, it does look good. Thanks. By the way, you seen my assistant? She's meant to be styling the tables, but she's sort of gone MIA. Could you help me find her? She's got to be around here somewhere. Sure. One assistant coming right up. boss is looking for you. She said something about decorating tables. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, no. You look freaked. Let me guess. The decorators missed their flight. The key table ornament got stolen by a cute dog. Or, or... No, no, nothing like that. It's just, I'm supposed to style all these tables for tonight. But I can't decide what theme to go for. The styling soiree is such a big deal. All the influencers post pictures and stuff. I'm feeling super overwhelmed. Could you help me out? What theme do you guys like best? Nice! Let's do it! Looks great! Thanks for the help. Guess I was vacationing in the land of Overthinkia on that one. Oh, I totally forgot. Marco Beretti's looking for you. You should probably go find him. Wonderful to see you. Mr. Beretti, how's it going? I uh, could actually use your help with something. No probs. What's up? I seem to have misplaced my suitcase and it had something important inside. Can you help me find it? On it. Girls, it's go time. We got a suitcase to find. Missing suitcase delivery! Ah, oh, perfetto! Thank you, Chloe! 
Now, why don't we take a peek inside? There! What do you think? Four designer dresses just for you. For the brats, I could give nothing less than perfection. So each gown was hand sewn by your proudest mentor, me. You've got to be kidding, Mr. B. These are for us? They're scorching. Oh, Mr. Beretti, thank you. We have to get you, like, a fruit basket or something. A fruit basket? Yes, that is so not styling. Quick, girls, go try them on and take a picture of the step and repeat. And when you're done, perhaps you could ask the boy band if they're ready to perform. It isn't the Brats Rock Angels. Looking good, ladies. I'd love to chat, but I'm kind of in the middle of a musical emergency. We're on in a couple minutes, but I can't find my bandmates. The Noise Boys are the best, but sometimes I swear it's like herding cats. Could you help me round them up? together and ready to rock. Wait, why is my lead singer miming at me like that? No time for charades, man. You're, uh, one syllable, a dog. No, a cat? Uh, a horse. You're a horse. Oh no, I get it. You're horse. Your voice is gone. Ugh. Talk about bad timing, bro. If our front man can't sing, there's no way we can do the gig. Ladies, do you think you could fill in for us? <laughs> no problem. We've got your back. Totally. I know some scorching dance moves we could do. Major thanks. Have a blast up there. You're gonna tear the roof off this place. Let the secret designer know when you're ready to perform.
I can't believe you did it! The styling soiree is a high fashion hit! The music, the lights, the decor! And I hear you are new headlining act. To think, the Rock Angels! Brats, your stage awaits. You ready for your opening number?
Everybody.